Hello, I hope that you are doing well. My name is Jeremy and I'm going to attempt a vlog of being an online doctoral student. I'm getting my Doctor of Business Administration through Bellevue University and what I would have loved to have found online is realistic expectations of what being an online doctoral student looks like. Um, just to give you some context, I have my MBA through Bellevue University um, my Master of Science in Industrial and Organizational Psychology through Bellevue University and a Master of Human Resource Management through uh, University of Arizona Global Campus. Uh, so far I am in my second class which is Global Leadership which has been quite enlightening thus far and um, yeah we'll just see how it goes from here. One of the things that I think is important is uh, well-being as a human being, especially as a student. Um, if your physical and mental health is not prioritized, then regardless of how much you study, uh, you will not be effective. So I am doing a quick little walk um, before I go to the gym. I've already meditated this morning and we'll probably do some more meditation later on today. Uh, for me, meditation makes it easy to um, create the space to take in the material, being present and focused on what I'm reading and synthesizing that material in a way that makes sense and that I could put it onto a paper or PowerPoint or present it. And uh, that's necessary, right? Especially if you're spending thousands of dollars to uh, get education. So make sure that you prioritize your mental and physical well-being. I just got in from my workout. While I was working out, I was listening to a peer-reviewed article about uh, global talent management and multinational firms, um, really defining what global talent management is within the architect, the HR architecture of the firm um, and comparing and contrasting having it based in headquarters where it's centralized or regional or local, um, understanding the routines that have to be in place for um, things to be effective, measuring things, how you engage people and create the experiences necessary for them to develop the skills uh, for today and tomorrow in order to set companies up for success. I'll probably skim through that article one more time. I use Speechify, which is kind of hit or miss in terms of reading things out. PDF is good. Scanning books is kind of hit or miss. Um, so I'll probably re-listen to um, or scan through that article and then I'll probably go through this week's chapter for global leadership and then start sifting through articles that will help support my assignment that is due tonight, which I believe is a PowerPoint with voiceover or uh, presenter notes and um, should be interesting. It's a 200 point assignment, which uh, I've been doing well so far. Um, this is my second class. The first one was business and society. I think I talked about that and uh, also a residency. The residency should have been an easy class, but I was crunched for time and ended up getting a B in the class, which really shouldn't be that difficult. Um, business and society, I got an A and this class so far, I'm getting an A um, with this week. Uh, it'll be five more weeks left in the class and then a two week break. So um it's really important to constantly reread, scan, highlight, sometimes flipping the pages helps um, versus listening to something, um, but just really ensuring that you process what you're reading and process it in a way that allows you to apply it to something else and making sure that you're taking breaks in between your studying because you don't want to cram things in, which is why I'm probably going to shower and then um, do something mindless, uh, which may include TV for a little bit, just a little bit, because I'm not really big on TV. And then I'll go back to studying, do an outline for my assignment 
and then um, start to finalize things and make sure that everything makes sense in alignment with the rubric that's been given uh, to ensure that I get a good grade. So one of the things that I try to do to help me with doing my assignments um, is rereading the assignment ask multiple times to really process what's being asked for. Um, and sometimes there are things that are asked for within something else and reading your assignments quickly uh, or the ask of the assignments quickly will set you up for failure. So I just spent about 10 to 15 minutes reading the assignment over and over again. I'm going to uh, reread the chapter assigned for this week and then uh, sketch out what my PowerPoint will look like, or at least the topics that I'm going to talk about um, from previous chapters and then link uh scholarly articles or peer-reviewed articles um, to support the ideas. I'm going to do it with something that I'm familiar with, so that way it's a little bit easier to understand or easier to apply. Um, but yeah, had I not reread my assignment over and over again, I would have easily missed. Uh, and this is a big assignment and it's 200 points. So uh, yeah, we'll get started. My assignment is about creating a training and evaluation plan. I'm gonna do um, customer service being converted to global customer service. Uh, I need an intro, obviously the team training plan and the team evaluation plan, um, a summary, implications and references. I have to use book and scholarly articles for the team training plan and team evaluation. Um, so that's what I'll be going back to scan for. But ultimately, um, the way that I'm going to stack it is fictional, expanding a customer service team globally, um, why that's important and why the training and evaluation uh, for that expansion is important. The team training plan will inform the evaluation plan. Um, and within the team training plan, I have things that I want to talk about. And then within the team evaluation, I have things that I want to talk about. Essentially, um, understanding what is needed for today and tomorrow, seeing what the skill set is, putting together the logistics and the design, measurement and facilitation of the training, um, and then using that information to um, inform how the team will be evaluated. What's the return on investment for the company? Behavioral, behavioral anchor rated scale um, to ensure that people are being evaluated fairly. What are the performance management system aspects of it? Mechanisms for triggering top talent or uh, low performers? And then ensuring that there's a routine behind it. What's the summary? And then uh, what are the implications for uh, customer service and or I imagine my organization. I've now reread the chapter assigned for this week and I made some additional notes on what I showed earlier and then I just spent about 30 minutes looking for articles that align with the uh, topic of discussion, specifically training plans and performance evaluations with the nuance of global or multinational companies. So now what I'm going to do is frame out the PowerPoint and then make sure that I hit all of the things that I talked about on this paper. And then I'm going to go through the articles that I found, um, read the intro, read the discussion and conclusion, and then skim through the uh, body of the research article to support the things that I'm saying. So that will probably take me a couple hours and I will take breaks in between. I probably should have given myself more time, but I needed the mental rest. Um, so I'll probably focus on that for the rest of tonight after uh, or in between, I'll be taking a break. I wanted to do a quick scan of what my presentation looked like. Um, I won't go into detail, but just to show uh, what the presenter notes looked like in terms of length and detail. 
and what my assignment turned out to look like. Hello, so the last time that you saw me, I was preparing to do schoolwork, which I believe was Sunday. My assignment was due, and not only did I not turn in my assignment, uh, but I had a lot more work than I realized that I had to do. So one other lesson to learn is the importance of spacing out your work and enough time to get things done. I know this. Um, I've been in school a lot, so that's nothing new, but sometimes you just are a human being. <laughs> so um, I didn't turn it in Sunday, but I was able to turn it in Monday. Um, I was able to reference a lot of scholarly articles as well as references from the book um, to drive home my point. The presentation was done and there are a lot of presenter notes. I decided not to do voiceover because I would have done it over and over and over and over again until I got it right. So I just um, typed my thoughts in the presenter notes and then turned it in. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give that update realistic expectation of what happened. I also wasn't feeling good at some points. Um, I don't have kids or a significant other, so that's something else to consider when doing your um, doctoral studies. But yeah, so we'll see how this goes. We'll keep going. <laughs>